We have brought in three single guys. Yes. I know, right? And we're going to ask them all sorts of wow. burning questions. I know, they're very frightened. Let me introduce you to our panel this morning. Derek Barrios creates all of the graphics you see here on San Antonio Living. He is single. Yeah. Wow. You you made, thank you. I you know. made that one? I know, right? I, I yeah, make, that one I right make there. them all. Right I here. make them all. <laughs> Anything you see on the screen is mine. Uh, <laughs> up next, we have Kevin Cuenca. He is the sports anchor slash reporter for Fox San Antonio, our sister station. And next to him, it is Frank Alosa, who is the radio anchor for KTSA Radio. Oh, I forgot to tell you about um, Kevin. He's single and career focused, by the way. And then Frank is single and dating. Yeah, so now you guys all are categorized. Do you like that? Yeah, Sweet. <laughs> nice little box that you put us in. It's great. That's what we try to do here. But that's what we're going to talk about first. It's about being a guy who is career driven, but still trying to find love. So how do you balance that out, Barrios? I call him Barrios. We're tight. No, no, yeah, we, we, we go way back. Uh, the balance is difficult. Um, I work a lot, so uh, that kind of puts a, a big monkey wrench in the situation yeah. so hmm, try to turn to like digital dating that has been kind of a bust a little bit but little bit you know bust, I, huh? I still help you know have hope that i can find somebody so. okay kevin have you tried online dating no and i've lost all hope so <laughs> uh, no, I, I, just, I think for me it's you know my hours are i work till 10 11 o'clock at night mm -hmm. so it makes it really difficult i've got maybe two nights a week that i can play with a little bit but um, you know, I think we all have our priorities and we've all made our decisions and our choices and um, we're all here for a reason, obviously, though. Frank? I have tried online dating. Yeah? And Success? And failed miserably. What? Well, really? Uh, I, I, I tried to just meet people organically now. Yeah. I feel like that is sort of the best way to go about it. I mean, it doesn't work for everyone, um, mm -hmm. but I feel like I'm, I, I have the ability to meet people and, and be personal enough with them that they feel comfortable and willing to, to give it a shot. So where do you meet girls? Like, where's a good spot? You don't have to tell me a spot. I mean, like, is it out at night? Is it at work? Where's, how do you run into girls? You really don't want to meet somebody at work. No, right? that's, that's always bad. seems to be yeah. like, a, like a negative thing. <laughs> All the single girls at work are like, man, that's, it just seems there? like a bad idea. Yeah, yeah. The, I agree with that one hundred percent. Really, like, you don't you don't want to mix your workplace with your personal life, your mm -hmm. professional and personal life. You should have a balance, in my opinion, but it should be separate. Okay. What if you accidentally fall in love on the job, like wow. Kevin? Say down the road, a real cute. Sports reporter rolls into town. Are you gonna say no just because no, she too, works with you? I'm too old to say no. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I mean, you got a no, point. I think, you got a point. You know, and I think if, <laughs> if you know, obviously that's you know what, what Frank was talking about. But if he met the girl of his dreams at work, I don't think he'd shut her down either. I think it's just your priorities are different. Okay. He's, his priority is hey, let's let's try to meet someone out and about instead of. Let me just talk off all the girls that are at the workplace. No, I'd probably shut her down. Yeah, <laughs> really? Oh, yeah. Wow. Well, so that's a yeah. deal breaker for you. Yeah, wow. I, I just have I have very strict rules when it comes to that. So I, I try to keep it. Okay. Okay. I think so that works, though, yeah. well, let's talk about what you guys look for in a girl. Derek, what's the number one quality that you're looking for in a lady? Uh, it, it's kind of a tie. It's humor and ambition. Yeah. Because I'm very witty. You, you've known me for almost a decade now. Super funny. Super funny. If she can't keep up with me and throw some back at me, it's going to be boring. So yeah. I'm going to move on. And also, in the ambition part, you know, you got to have some drive. Like, you can't just be sitting at home working, you know, your, your regular, like, nine to five job, and you're right. not going anywhere, you know, ringing some up at a cash, cash register or whatever. Sure. Like, you have to kind of want something more to better yourself. So, so. someone who has the sim similar qualities as you, basically. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, that would be nice. Okay. All right, Kevin, how about you? What What are your top uh, things that you're looking for in a, a lady? I would just add spontaneous to that, I think. So you're stealing Derek's answer yeah, and absolutely. adding spontaneous. Yeah, All right. Absolutely. Okay. But he's, he's witty enough for the both of us to be able to steal it like that. <laughs> well, thank you. Um, <laughs> it, yeah, I, I think spontaneity has kind of been lost, at least in my opinion, by some. Um, I think we're so focused on, hey, I need to look perfect when I'm out and about because I'm going to be taking selfies and being seen by people. Yeah. That we've kind of lost that, hey, let's just get up and go somewhere. Yeah. And, and with my work schedule, it can be hard to set stuff up, but sometimes spontaneity. Sometimes arise. 11 o'clock at night is the best time for a date. You so never just know. just go out and That's grab right. a bite. So, yeah. Sure. All right, Frank, we know that finding a girl at work is out for you. So yeah. what are we looking for in a chick? Uh, they stole both my answers because I told them what it was yeah. earlier. <laughs> uh, yeah, I, I, it's it. humor, spontaneity, and for me, a good smile. Yeah. Like a good, because like you're going to be looking across at that person forever, hopefully. Yeah. Um, and so what you should be, you know, you're, I'm looking for a good smile and, uh, 
gorgeous eyes. Those two things are, are so I, hard up there. I, I'm falling in love with you guys because not one of you mentioned anything about having the perfect body and figure. Yes. I love like that. Yeah. yeah. I like that. I, yeah. don't, I don't have the perfect body, yeah, so I'm not expecting to anybody go. to have that. All right. Well, you guys stick around. We've got more burning, tough questions to ask our panel of single guys. In fact, we're pulling some of your questions out of a fishbowl. Find out if these guys have the answer. We'll be right back. Welcome back to San Antonio Living. This morning we're chatting with our single guys panel. They all work in the television radio industry. Joining us is Derek Barrios, Kevin Cuenca, and Frank Alosa. All right, guys, are you ready for the fishbowl of truth? No. No, no, I'm not at all. <sighs> Look into my fishbowl and tell me the truth. I'm going to pull out a, a question and you all have to answer it. All right, we'll start with Frank. We're going to start with yeah. you. Yeah. Why do you always target the radio guy? <laughs> I don't know. I'm going, I'm going to that end. All right, Frank. What do you need to find out about a woman on a first date? Does the first date make or break it? Absolutely. You can tell sort of right away, at least I can, I'm not gonna speak for you guys, but you can tell sort of right away if this is going to go anywhere past that night. Okay. Um, so I'm looking for, as we, we talked about before, you know, humor, spontaneity. You can kind of get that out of people generally pretty quickly. If you is can... there like a go-to question that you always oh. ask? Like you're <laughs> sitting across the table with your date and you're like, all right, I, got, I, I always ask this one question. Oh, I like to find out about their career, career. and how passionate okay. they are in it. Because I think that, that you can find out a lot about a person with how they speak about something that they do regularly. All right. So I ask that Good question. answer. No drama, it's all good from the fishbowl of truth. It's right. just the first one, though. We Kevin. Have a bunch more. Here comes the granny thing, right? <laughs> there you go. All right, Kevin, a Huffington Post article says that you're more straightforward in your 30s. Is that true? Do you tell it like it is, or is it okay to fib? No, it's not okay to fib. I think okay. we're, t we're too old to live someone hey, else's truth. How old are you? 32. Oh, but that's man. old enough to know better. I mean, I think at this point you have to... Be honest with yourself and where you're at in Good your life. You. And if you're not ready to date, then don't date. Just go do what you need to do and get yourself set, and then go date when you're ready to date. I think, um, yeah, it's, it's way too old to be fibbing at this point. You need to be about your business and about making a better life for yourself. And if that includes somebody else, awesome. Um, but just be honest with yourself. I like straight shooter over here. This is good news. All right. Hey. Marios, you are up, my friend. You guys got the easy question. Right. Let's see what Let's happens see. here. This one's going to be about scary questions. Yeah, yeah, pretty Derek, much. Derek, what are deal breakers in a relationship for you? Um... Oh man, that is, that's what? See, you guys there's did no, get there. You know what? Oh my there really is no deal breaker. There, no, no, there's plenty of deal breaker. Like a uh, general, uh, you know, not keeping yourself up. Like if mm -hmm. you're if you're a slob, if you're like a dirty person, doesn't clean their house. Like yeah. that's kind of that's, you know that, that's definitely a turn off. You gotta make sure you, know? you scoop the kitty litter. If you don't wash your yeah. hair every other day. Like come on, hey, you know. Hey, every day. <laughs> you know, Alana has been known girl. to only wash her hair once a week, and me too. It yeah. happens. Just and, so you know, it's a girl thing. Oh, well, cool. as long as you smell nice, it's fine. Okay, um, okay. Uh, just like, um, I don't know, uh, the way you hold yourself. If you're always okay. downing yourself, you're, oh, woe is me, like, that's not, that's not a try. Yeah, you got to be positive about how the world's going. All right, so. I love it. I love it. All right, I'm going back into the... <laughs> survive! <laughs> Round one. <laughs> okay, so we already know the answer to this one. Would you date someone that you met online? Y'all have tried it. And you're not fans, right? It's always ended up in disaster. Disaster? Yeah. Completely? Yeah. Yeah. Kevin, disaster. I don't think you can, at, at this day and age, I don't think you can rule it out because it's so prevalent. Mm -hmm. um, I'm really not about where you meet someone. It's more about the connection that you have with them and whether you guys hit it off or not. I don't care if I meet someone in, in an elevator or wherever. I mean, I, I think it's just being yourself. And if you connect with someone awesome, if you don't, then yeah. there's plenty of other people. I wouldn't say disaster for me. Disaster. At least. That's just not the case. I, I would say more. It's just uh, I prefer another way, yeah. and so that's in the back of my mind. So I think for me, online dating may have, uh, I guess, a mark against it before I even get to the date. All right, we've got one. one we've got time for one more question from the fishbowl. Okay. Great. Okay, so this is an easy one. This is a yes or no question because in, in this business, I think we are all alpha females <laughs> powerful crazy <laughs> that, and yeah. driven <laughs> derek true. would you date an alpha female absolutely kevin yep. yeah frank absolutely mm -hmm. alpha females rock i love it all right guys thank you for being a part sure. of this, this morning um ladies if you're interested Hit me up on Facebook. I'll put you in contact. Here we go. Yeah, it'll be good stuff. And we'll see what happens from there. Thank you again, guys.